Hi, I'm Jacob with the Carpet Beaters, and today we're going to talk about what is where. Where? Right there. There is where? Where? Right there. Right there is where. That's what I said. It's where. So what is where? Well, where occurs usually in high traffic areas. So if you're walking from your bedroom to the bathroom constantly and it's starting to look darker, usually uh, it, it can be dirt for sure and you should get it cleaned. But if it's cleaned and then it remains dark afterwards, that's damage to the carpet, which we call wear. Essentially, you're wearing down your carpet. Now, what's happening is carpet is created to reflect light back to your eyes. So in order for the carpet to look the way it did when you first bought it, it needs to maintain its integrity. When you're wearing it down, you're causing the fiber to change shape. And when you lay it down, it looks different because the light is reflecting off of it differently than it would if it was brand new. Now, the best way to test for wear is if you see a dark spot and you take your hand and you slide it across the carpet and it becomes light, that is an indication that it's wear. And what you're doing is you're changing the angle of the fiber to reflect light differently back to your eye. When carpet is brand new, it's all strong and made to stand up, so it doesn't have that same effect. Now, it still can sometimes, and what happens uh, on longer fibers is you have the carpet maybe uh, raked toward you, and it appears darker, and you push it out, and it becomes lighter. That's just because of the length of the carpet. On the shorter fibers, you're not going to really see that. Um, However, when you notice footprints on the carpet, that's a similar effect where basically you're distorting the look of the carpet by um, stepping on it and laying it down in a different way. Unfortunately, the only way to fix wear is to replace the carpet in that particular room. Um, but it is good to know that it's not soil being left behind. Um, now, if you have a bunch of little spots, there's two things that could be, it's either stained um, in which case it's probably not going to come out unless it's a very specific type of stain in which chemicals can counteract it in order to get it out. Or it's, if you look closely, you'll notice that that particular spot has some fraying on the edge and the end of the fibers. Um, that's, uh, additional damage as well. And I, I find that sometimes on the job where I have to double check my work, look for closely at what seems to be a spot and uh, realize that it's just damaged to the carpet. So that particular spot, no matter what I put on it, is gonna still look like a spot, unfortunately. Um, but also good to know that it's not dirt being left behind. Fun fact about nylon, Japan used to sell silk to the United States to make parachutes with. Then all of a sudden during World War II, they decided not to do that anymore. Hmm, I wonder why. To replace this, Dr. Wallace Caruthers came up with a synthetic fiber that was made from products of petroleum. This was to be called nylon, and it is what we still use to make parachutes today. Hmm. Innovative. So if you're concerned about your carpet still looking dirty after it's been cleaned, don't worry. Just do the wear test. Where? If it gets lighter, you can be rest assured that it's free of dirt and clean for your home and family. If you have any questions, give us a call or visit our website at carpetbeaters.com. And you can also read the blog below for additional information on this. As always, I am Jacob Whitley, and carpet cleaning isn't just a simple service, it's also a science.